for you. And I want to remind you, it's not about us. My campaign four years ago, my I mean us, the candidate. My campaign four years ago, my campaign eight years ago was not about me. I said it over and over again. This campaign, as important as it is to elect Martha, as important as it is to elect Seth, and all the other candidates up and down the Democratic ticket, it's not ultimately about the candidates. It's about us. All of us. It's about John. It's a truth I've learned in the last eight years in this job, which is that there are a handful of people who have all the resources and connections to assure their interest on being in hell. They don't care about this. They're not bad people, by the way. I work with them. Um, our reps and senators work with them. But they know how to get their, their phone call returned. They know how to get a meeting with the governor, no matter who the governor is, Democrat or Republican. Whether the governor sees you depends on who the governor is. Whether the governor sees what's going on in the fishing industry or in middle class households around the common. Whether the governor sees the students like John behind the line items when the hard economic and fiscal decisions have to be made. Whether the governor sees what's happening to your vehicles when your roads are pockmarked and broken and the bridges are falling down. The question is not just differences in policy as some abstract debate society. It's about human being. So, Martha sees souls. She sees people. This is a woman who has stood up for vulnerable children through her whole professional life who stood up for you when big banks were looking to take your home away. <laughs> stood up to the health care companies for you when your costs were going through the roof. And you talk about somebody who is willing to stand up for folks who aren't as connected, who aren't powerful. There's only one choice in the race, and that's Martha Cohen. That's the real deal. And that is who, with everyone else on the ticket, on the Democratic side, we're out working. And I'd rather have the real deal than someone who has, if I may call it, an authenticity problem. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that authenticity problem was there before the fish right? John made these points. In 2010, climate change wasn't real. Now maybe it is. In 2010, 5,000 or more people needed to be laid off from state government. Now, maybe it's not a bad idea to have some social workers to do the work that DCF is responsible for. Mm -hmm. Just a little while ago, forget about 2010, just a little while ago, when the Supreme Court said that bosses get to tell their women employees whether they can have reproductive health services, the Republican nominee said, no big deal. Then somebody said, well, you know what? You might not be able to get elected saying that. He said, well, okay, maybe it is a big deal. Come on. How many times, how many times have we gone to the polls where someone is offering to say what is, whatever is necessary to get the job and then gotten the job and hasn't been willing to do 